Hello and welcome. My name's Guido Bonetti from ASL Real Estate. Welcome back to another episode of Inside ASL. Now, I'm, I have the pleasure of being joined today again by our top gun for the last three years running, Wendy Jo. Hello. Hello, Wendy. How are you today? Very good, thank you. You excited to be here? Yes. Now, today's special topic is on freehold sales. Right. Now, freehold sales are, uh, they could be a childcare centre, they could be a childcare land, uh, sorry, a block of land with um, with plans and permits, they could be anything that's in that, in that scope. Now, the specific topic is freehold sale, auction, private sale, or expression of interest, right? So, the first question I have for Wendy. Wendy, over the years with ASL, you have sold countless freehold properties, whether it be a childcare site with a permit, an operating childcare, or more recently, two off the plan sales. In your opinion, what are the pros and cons of each? Auction, private sale, or expression of interest? Yeah, so with uh, uh, childcare freehold, uh, it uh, provides you very uh, stable fixed uh, return. And uh, uh, especially with commercial investments, uh, the landlord, uh, uh, all the outgoings is on tenant. Uh, and uh, the landlord uh, has very minimal maintenance work I need to do compared to residential uh, freehold. Um, and uh, with uh, the projects, uh, if you have the capacity to build or develop, uh, that's probably can give you a, a stronger yield and a return on your investment. So it all depends, uh, like uh, what uh, funds you have and uh, what uh, capacity you have, and uh, we can find the right products for you. Fantastic. Now, one of the things that I love about um, the childcare industry is that, yeah, there are those different times that we can sell along the way, right? Um, my opinion is that I always like to uh, to sell a childcare centre when it's when it's got the operator in there, right? Um, and it's uh, it's it's currently running, right? Uh, take it to uh, expression of interest though. Uh, auction sale is is also an option, but um, for me, if I had a childcare centre. I'd be selling it as, uh, as an expression of interest. Mm -hmm. Now, simple question, yeah. right? If you were to sell your own childcare centre, now I think I've just led straight into that one for you. If you were to sell your own childcare centre, what method would you choose, right? So put the, put the vendor's hat on. Would you choose an auction, a private sale, or an expression of interest? Uh, I probably will go for private sale or expression of interest. Uh, because uh, with the uh, traditional auction, uh, like uh, it, uh, it doesn't give the salesperson opportunity to utilize their skill to uh, negotiate with the clients. And uh, if uh, like a uh, private sale expression of interest, uh, it doesn't limit uh, your uh, property uh, price and also the agent can utilize their experience, their skill to convince the buyer to maximum, like maximize uh, the price for our clients. Wendy, I have to agree that in my opinion, now I started my real estate career in uh, the year 2000 uh, here with ASL. Um, I have to agree that the expression of interest is probably the best way um, to sell. It creates that urgency because you've got the cutoff date, but also, each buyer doesn't know what each other buyer is putting in. In the in the transparency of a of an auction, right? Um, you know, we I've seen scenarios where buyers buyers may not pay as much. Property does sell, right? But buyers don't pay as much as they were willing to pay because there was no other competition there on the day. So um, I find that expression of interest. People come in with their best foot forward, and you can really achieve great results. Um, so any of our clients that uh, would be looking to sell a, a freehold, we always say let's go for the expression of interest and let the salesperson really negotiate the highest and best price for each individual property. Now, at the time of shooting this video, Wendy, um, let's pick the last, I don't know, 12 weeks or so, what dollar value of freehold sales have you been able to achieve? So. Over the last 12 months, uh, uh, the total value of the property, including the projects uh, I sold, is over 14, 40 million, 40 million. Um, yeah, so individually, like uh, the price range from 800,000 to uh, over 7 million. Well, let's do some quick numbers. Wendy is Top Gun for three years. 
Yeah, Top Gun for three years. Now, in the last 12 months, in a previous video, we were told, I think it was 70 leases that you had done. And also in the previous 12 months, or 12 weeks, 12 months, right? You've done $40 million in, let's call it, freehold transactions. How do you do it? You must be so busy, right? Um, are you a big team and you've got yourself and you've got OPA? Yeah, yeah, like uh, we work as a team. Uh, I got my PA and we work uh, closely together every day. And also uh, I have the whole ASL team supporting like uh, my day-to-day -day work. Um, yeah, it's not only me <laughs> create this magic number, it is the whole team working together. So now, obviously you've seen a couple of videos on Wendy now over the last 12 to 15 weeks. If you want to uh, get in contact with Wendy, she's contactable on 0422 0122 or on 0398556000, right? Feel free to give Wendy a call any time and you too can be part of these uh, fantastic results. Now, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. These videos are going to continue. Uh, we'll give you a bit of an insight to ASL, right? Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day. Thank you.